tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. This is about smoothing and it has to do with the keys 1, 2, 3 as shortcuts in the Maya interface. Let me quickly model a simple surface in the NURBS world and then we switch to the polygon world. Okay, so this is the surface. It looks complicated, it looks smooth. When you deselect it by clicking somewhere in here, you see that it's really nice, like most NURBS curves. It's really cool. And it depends on the uh, history of the, on the construction history, obviously. So when I, for example, scale this curve, uh, the uh, surface will follow. Now I want to peak make a peak here, so press F8 and I move that uh, CV up here and I do the same right here, I want to move the CV down here. So this is a really sharp edge now. Back to object mode. Now, and a different background so we can see it better. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you something about smoothing and uh, the smoothing when you render this uh, object here uh, create a light a sky dome light for example and uh, render the object okay let's move it a little bit down uh, you get quite a nice smooth result here if it's not smooth enough uh, use the tessellation entry and I did a tutorial about it so the link is in the des description below uh, tessellation is the rendering uh, smoothness but we're talking about the display smoothness now I select the actually I want to delete the sky dome light um, I select the surface and now I press the key 1 and you see that something has changed up here you have sharp edges now here here and here press the key 2 so they get a little bit smoother but still there are edges here and then you press the key 3 and that's where we came from so 1, 2, 3 are smoothing keyboard shortcuts and um, in order to see the surface as it's going to be rendered uh, you press the key 3 by the way when you uh, press the key 4 you see the wireframe layout and uh, since 1, 2, 3 are responsible for the display resolution, the, uh, the smoothness, you can now, in the wireframe mode, which was key 4, go back to, say, key 1, and you see the edged version here in wireframe mode. And key 3, the smooth uh, way. Now, key 5 creates the shaded display, and key 6 shows the shaded display with the texture maps so what does that mean um, let's go back to 5 so we have a standard shading on now right mouse click assign a new material and the Fong E for example and we map the color of the Fong E with something like a grid and we don't see the grid here because of the key 5 when we press the key 5 we see the shaded display without textures the key 6 shows us the shaded display with texture maps and if we go back to 1 we see the unsmoothed surface here in the NURBS world the edges are often not as dramatic as in the polygon world because by default the um, NURBS surfaces they are smooth by default so to say but uh, as you can see there are lots of edges here and they have basically a historical background because in the old days when the computers were not as powerful uh, and the graphics cards especially could not display 
uh, smooth uh, uh, rims here in real time, you would uh, switch back to 2 or 1 to get that low resolution. Okay, having said this, we'll create a new scene. And the new scene, where we need a grid again to get some orientation, will create a polygon cylinder. And I move the cylinder a little bit up. And here in the uh, factory which makes the polygon cylinder, this is the polycylinder one, I have the radius, the height, etc. And uh, I want to change the subdivisions in height uh, to 5. Uh, because I want to model something which I want to smooth later. I right mouse click and go to faces. I want to select faces. These things here. When you select two faces like these two for the eyes, for example, you have to take care not selecting faces in the back of the object. So let's select this one and this one and just m make sure that we didn't select anything in the back or at the top or bottom. So this is just fine. Here in the poly modeling um, menu set um, or shelf, you see this icon. This is responsible for the extrusion. So let's click on it and we extrude this to the inside because it's going to resemble the eyes. Scale it down a little bit. So that's fine now. Now the nose. And we do the same extrusion, but this time to the outside, obviously. And we scale it a little bit down like this, move it down like this, and maybe rotate it like so. Back right mouse click to object mode. So this is the object we have. Let's give it another shader. How about the keys 1, 2, 3? Let's select the object. Press the key 1. Nothing changes. Press the key 2. And now we see something very interesting. In the terminology of Maya, it's called a cage. It's like a wireframe box around it. And that's actually the box which we modeled. You see, that's the nose outline. But inside of the box is a smoothed version of our geometry. When we press the key 3, the box goes away and the, we only see the smoothed uh, version here. If we want to continue working here now, we could, for example, create a mouth face and extrude this back in. And working in the smooth mode is quite good for s certain purposes. And it's, uh, it's certainly not bad for this purpose here. So we can stay in that smoothed mode. However, um, this is not going to be rendered because um, uh, the actual smoothing sits here. Mesh, smooth. This is only a display thing. And before we render it, we need to make sure that we have a smoothness which we like. Where is the smoothness? And now we need to go to the very beginning here, the polygon cylinder shape. And here you have a section called Smooth Mesh. Open it. And you see that the Smooth Mesh preview is switched on. You can switch it off here. You can switch it on here. You can switch it off here. It's the same as pressing the key 3. That's what we just did. And this is the cage and the smooth mesh, and this is only the smooth mesh. So that's basically the keyboard shortcuts 1, 2, 3, which you just see here in the menu. Now, the subdivisions levels, which are just one section below, enable you fine-tuning. Display subdivisions, you see that in order to create this smooth corner here from a pretty sharp cylinder, the original was a cylinder, as you might remember, uh, you see now this display play of the subdivisions. Um, if you raise this value to 4, for example, you get a little bit more smoothing here. Just to go back to, let's go back to 1, like this, 
Maybe this resolution is enough for you, because it affects the rendering time and it affects the performance in a computer game, obviously. Because the more smoothness you apply, the more polygons you eventually get. So uh, let's go to 5 here. You have a nice smoothing of this character here. Well, that's all I wanted to show you today. Key 1, 2, 3. And fine-tuning here with the subdivision levels. Be careful setting this value too high will freeze Maya because uh, you will get a complaint, uh, uh, an option box, uh, basically. Do you want to continue really? Uh, no, you better don't. So a selection uh, of a display division level of 15 is pretty intense for a computer these days even. Yeah, uh, how about the key 4? Do you remember? It's all the, it's it's the ones up here. So this is the wireframe display. This is the shaded display. And what is key number six? Do you remember? It's a shaded display with a texture map on. We don't have a texture map currently on. So we um, edit that material and we apply a ramp. from black down there to white up here and now we see the ramp but when we press the key 5 we don't see it we just see a flat shading key 4 key 5 key 6 and key 1 this is where we came from and when you're happy with the subdivision levels here which is set here or just with the smoothing with the keys 1 2 3 and the default of 2 here then you go to Modify, Convert, and here you have an entry called Smooth Mesh Preview, that's what we currently see in the viewport, to polygons. And it will create a real polygon object with exactly that smoothness resolution which we just invoked here. Have a good day. Bye-bye.